Hello everyone and welcome back to Galactic Spots, our 101 Dalmatians side story here with Suas and Lyra of Lunar Lakes. And it looks like Suas has actually managed to finish up another one of the nanites that she is currently researching. Yep, she has researched how to build the Lepton nanite, which is wonderful because I think those little nanites we actually need in order to build the trait chips that we're going to need for our plumbo. And it is finally time to start working on the Plumba. I am so excited. The Plumba is going to basically be the nanny robot who is going to watch over Lyra so that Suas will be free once more to go into the stars and explore space. Oh, and there's that beautiful moon again. Oh, I absolutely love that thing. That's so cool. Oh, and I was like, what the heck is with all this smoke? Well, we're right up next to the little um the little chemistry station that Suas got for Lyra to practice her chemistry on. But yes, uh, we are trying to build up that Plumba. Plumbot Nanny, because Suas wants to be free to be able to explore the stars and gather up all of those relics and those high-tech collector pieces that she really wants. And she never really imagined herself having to actually take care of her child, the one child that she is required by 6M Space Law to make sure that she has in order to propagate the um, the line and keep their race of aliens going. Because I, I suppose that, like her species is more interested in working on their technology technology bits and pieces and their logic than they are in having kids. At least for the most part, I'm sure there's quite a few nurturing little mothers uh, and fathers amongst them. But Suas wasn't one of the ones who wanted a lot of kids, but to keep her place with a certain government grant she gets for being able to go and explore space and permissions to go into specialized areas for gathering up relics, she has to meet certain criteria, like passing on her DNA and making sure that uh, she carries on the, the legacy of this race. And she did that by taking permission to go to Earth and to have a half alien, half sim child, a little Lyra, with Lyra's father. Because, you know, Roger and Anita with their six plus kids seemed like the perfect people to leave a child with. And then she could fulfill all of her planetary goals and she could go ahead and explore. But then she went back to check in on how Lyra was doing and there were no adults there to take care of Lyra anymore. So yeah, she never really expected to end up taking care of her daughter. But now that she is, I actually think that she's enjoying the experience here we're gonna have her design more nanites just so that we can get ready for making that plum bot but I think she's enjoying the experience a lot more than she anticipated because Lyra has um has so far proven not to be too much trouble as far as Suas knows Lyra spends most of her time staying home and studying every day just like a young child should but uh you know Lyra's a little bit upset that she's been kidnapped but she's also starting to fall for lunar lakes and this amazing planet I mean, she got to help her mother summon meteors and collect meteors that she saw fall from the stars over at the little fishing spot yesterday. Oh, the lag. Why? Why? Oh, it's because everything is trying to load in and it's like, no, help me. Help me, Siri. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. All right. Now it's easing up. But I mean, come on, that was kind of cool. Lyra got to ride an alien spaceship. She got to summon meteors with her alien mother and watch them fall from the stars. She got to chase down a telepathic horse and meet a telepathic foal. And she also kind of was a little bit sneaky and she managed to be a little bit rebellious and go steal from someone's garden. So I think Lyra is beginning to enjoy her experience here. Oh, and then she got to eat some of the synthesized egg rolls and her favorite food is egg rolls and finding out that like Suas's favorite food is also egg rolls I think Lyra is getting more in touch with her alien roots and the other half of her heritage than she expected and I think Suas is so far proving to be a little bit surprised at how much she enjoys Lyra's company but I don't think that's going to last too long because she wants to travel abroad she wants to improve her technology skills she wants to fly around I'm just going to interpret all of that as that she's she can't be tied down she wants to get into space so anyway she's also created a caustic nanite so i wonder what we're gonna do we can create a plumb bot for 250 simulonians now that we have the money so much money from those meteors which was awesome and we also have a whole bunch of small meteors itty bitty ones like these tiny space rocks and i actually think let's go ahead and uh we'll analyze it just to see what it is but I think Suas really has an appetite for the space rocks. Whoa, Suas, where the heck you go? 
<laughs> Every time. There's something about analyzing the space rocks that makes her jump all over the place. All right. So, yeah, there we go. Don't teleport yourself without permission, Sue asked. That's quite rude. Anyway... I think she actually loves consuming these space rocks for brain power. And that's the other thing. Now that she is doing all of this. Wow, that's so cool. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I swear, that's awesome. But I think now that she is consuming space rocks in front of Lyra and doing all of those things around her daughter, Lyra is beginning to think about like, whoa, am I going to be able to do those things too? Is that going to be part of her life is being able to summon meteors and con mentally consume rocks and trans uh, transmute rocks into new higher quality rocks, which we could also do, just not with space rocks. If we had like this gold, oh, let's try doing that again. Maybe we'll say that she's trying to transmute the gold to make new parts for the nanites so that she can make a better plum bot. But we can do this transmuting. We didn't have any luck with it last time. Apparently, the higher the alien's mood is, the more likely the chance that they'll transmute the uh, or the minerals. I almost said ores. You can tell I've been playing some of the other games, huh? But you can transmute the metals and the gemstones into higher quality metals and gemstones. So let's see what uh, Suas thinks of this. Can she do it? Are her powers strong enough? Her fun is a little bit low, but everything else is pretty high. Come on, Suas, you can do it turn it into <gasps> dun 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 all right suas has instilled the goal with much ellie on the love increasing its value to 68 simulonians okay so all that apparently did was just like make it worth a little bit more i thought it would do something fancier let's try that again it's definitely different than transmigrifying transmigrifying oh my gosh sorry i have a cold so that word's really hard to say when i have a very bad cold right now but it's very different from transmuting objects as a witch, that's for sure. Darian in our Supernatural series definitely, definitely did things a little bit differently. Interesting! So you can, you can add value to the items. I thought that the transmuting would change them into new items. We'll have to experiment with that. I think that Suas is pretty happy with what she's done though. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sell that gold. And then Suas uh, is going to eat another one or con mentally consume another one of the uh, space rocks just to make sure she's feeling on top of everything. She doesn't really have to sleep then. And I think she would like that. Maybe that's why she likes taking her, her space ship or I should say her space car because that's literally what it's called, the Galaxa space car. And it's not as big as her spaceship was before those pirates stole it. But maybe that's why she likes heading off and traveling. Uh, she likes traveling to the great asteroid belt so she can gather up lots of the space rocks. And she prefers using that as her mental ability. And that might be one of the reasons that Lyra is so confusing to her because I do think you guys, Lyra is going to gain those alien powers when she becomes an adult because Suas did have an option. You can scan, right? You can scan other Sims and you can bio dream and bio boost them to do different alien abilities, which we'll definitely have to experiment with in the future if for no other reason than for Suas to be able to show Lyra what the alien abilities that are probably in her genes may do. But um, we can't do those on other aliens. You can't bio boost and you can't bio drain other aliens and it seems that Suas recognizes Lyra as another alien even if little Lyra as a child is too young to have her own brain power abilities so she doesn't have the brain power with the big brains um, maybe her brain isn't fully matured yet <gasps> that makes so much sense so her brain isn't fully matured yet because she's a child and maybe she's going to end up with all of those alien powers like summoning meteors being able to transmute objects bio draining sims flying around in a space car which she could do anyway but still she's gonna gain those alien powers as she becomes a teenager and that may also be another reason why suas finds it a little hard to connect with lyra there's probably a whole level of like talking telepathically that aliens normally do that she can't do with her daughter and lyra is still finding it hard to connect with suas because she feels like a human at this point she has all of the same traits as a human all of the same needs as a human and she she doesn't know that that big change is probably coming up in her life. So that's going to be very interesting to see what happens after she goes through that change and if she wants to return to Earth afterwards. So, hmm. 
definitely gonna have to keep an eye out for that. But all right, enough of my rambling. I'm just really in love with this family. And we're gonna create a trait chip because she does have the desire to build a component cleaner trait chip. And I wanna try making a few trait chips before we make the plum bot. So we're gonna have Suas run up there and work on that. Because, like I said, yeah, she's surprised at how much... Oh, that's right, I need a nanite. All right, well, you can create nanites, and we needed money to do that. So let's create a torque nanite. That sounds kind of cool. And it's also the most expensive. And Suas tends to like things that are a little pricey because she likes that level of high technology. <gasps> What's this? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Suas, look at you. Congratulations! Suas has improved her bot building skill to level 3. She has discovered how to reverse engineer nanites. Reverse engineering a nanite will break it down into components that can be used to build additional trait chips. When reverse engineering the, the wild nanites found around Oasis Landing, Suas will gain even more components and discover how to create that nanite at any bot workshop. Oh, that's so cool! And once we get Suas all settled in with getting a plum bot, and once we may, well, we may not even get the plum bot here in, um, here in Lunar Lakes. We may start going to the future pretty soon. And, oh, just to make it clear, I have no, oh, it's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. I love him. Suez, is that your very own little nanite? I've seen him in the wild all the time, but I didn't know that's what they looked like up close. That's really cool. But we may have them go into the future sooner than later. And I have not forgotten that uh, little Lyra is expecting a puppy at some point in the future. And you guys have done a good job of guessing who's going to bring that puppy. I just kind of want to make sure we take it one thing at a time. And now that we've created this nanite, let's try making the trait chip. I don't want to get too ahead of myself if I need something in particular. But yeah, we might move to the future pretty soon. I think that it's almost time now that Suas has gotten some more money uh, and now that she's settling in to her Lunar Lakes home, her Lunar Lakes base, and we're going to have a base that's over at Oasis Springs, aka in the future as well. But now that she's settling in, I think it is almost time for a, a certain maternal figure of her own to come and visit and see how her grandchild is doing. And that maternal figure may very well come with a surprise. So we're going to have to see how that goes. All right, come on, Suas. What is it like? Oh, what's this? Reverse engineer a nanite. So she wants to find a wild nanite. Nice. All right, so she turned that nanite we had into a, comp a component cleaner trait chip. And now she wants to create three trait chips. Uh, once you've built a trait chip, why stop there? Your sim will want to turn their bot workshop into a veritable trait chip factory. So let's also try design trait chip. So I think you need those trait chips to put into your plum bot. So we might wait till we have something like a cooking, <laughs> which is what Suez kind of wants, a cooking trait chip of some kind before we try making the plum bot. But we'll have to see what else Suez is gonna get up to. And meanwhile, Lyra, I wonder, it may be soon time for her to start meeting with some other little kids. I really think that she might wanna start meeting with other alien children, for instance, and getting a chance to interact with them. Uh, and she does kind of want to become... Oh, the Handybot trait chip. Nice. Good job, Suas. She's really good at this. I, I wonder if it's because um, she has, like, maxed out handiness. And she does want to upgrade a bunch of things. So I might set her free to start upgrading things. All right. And then Lyra is having fun. I wonder which, what did she have fun from. Who knows? She had fun from doing something. And if she's about to wake up, when she does, we'll go ahead and have her discover stars. Uh, since she still wants to... Fear of humans trait chip. What? That's an interesting trait chip. Why would you want to design that, Suas? There's so many trait chips. I'm not used to that. Because I've never made a plum pot before. So that's going to be really interesting to see. But once we have the plum pot nanny, then we'll go into the future. And we'll have to see if we end up with another certain another certain addition to the family before then. So ask, where are you going? What are you doing? Things that go bump in the night. She wants to read something. She's getting a little warm from working out there. Uh, well, you know what? Keep keep designing trait chips because this is really interesting. And then you can customize your plum bot for a hundred Simulonians. Create your plum bot. All right. I want to I wanna keep going until I have some traits for a plum bot that I think would be really useful. Meanwhile, Little Lyra will have her wake up and she's going to come out here and search the galaxy for Earth as she does most days. Actually, I think that we might actually have her go inside really quickly 
And while her mom is busy, she's going to sneak into the bathroom, even though I think there's like giant windows. Yeah, there's giant windows everywhere, Lyra, so you can't really hide much from your mom. And we're gonna have her talk. Oh, and we need to summon, I'm sorry, Kila. Kila, so sorry. Kila's mood is super low. So let's clean her. The AI angler trait ship, that's so interesting. We're gonna clean Kila and we're gonna get her, we're gonna talk to her for a little while and make sure that she's okay. Lyra hasn't been able to meet with her because she was so busy with her mom and the meteors yesterday, but she needs, she, Kila's like her only friend right now, so she really needs to spend time with her. All right, meanwhile, Suas almost ends up seeing the the stolen uh, little hollow sprite that we have. Come on, keep designing those, those trait chips. You wanna upgrade things? Well, you need to work on this first, all right, and then, I'll have her work on some nanites soon, too. Let's see. Whoa, what the heck? Uh-oh. Beep, 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 beep. Something's going definitely wrong over here. Did we just break it? Oh, no. Not the bot shop. We were so close. So close to being able to actually get a plum bot, I think. I've never made one before, so it's kind of an experiment. Did you bust it? All right, well, I wonder what kind of, maybe she was trying to make some sort of really dangerous trait chip. That's interesting. All right, and over here, can we check Kila's mood? Sorry, Kila, didn't mean to neglect you. Le could use, uh, oh, okay, so Kila wants us to talk to her for a while, so we'll do that for a little bit. And then that will actually make Lyra's fun go up, if I remember correctly, too. So she'll have fun kind of visiting with Kila. Ah, but that's true. Maybe she would have noticed that. What is true, you may ask? Well, you know, she was going to go look for the stars to try to find Earth. And instead, she finds herself distracted by the importance of taking good care of Kila. So she snuck off, and she's losing valuable nighttime to be able to search for Earth in order to take care of her new friend, the Hollow Sprite. So yeah, Lyra's definitely getting tugged, tugged back and forth. The Steel Chef trade chip, yes, that's what I wanted. All right, let's do this. I'm kind of excited. I think Suas is really excited too. All right, we're gonna design some trade chips. I wonder if there's anybody, any trade chips that have something to do with taking good care of kids. We'll have to see. All right, there you go, Suas. Gotta add to the family soon. Get ourselves a plum bot. Never had a plum bot before. That'll be exciting. And then, yeah, Lyra's social has gone up, but her fun hasn't really gone up. So we'll have to see. Also, Suas is going to notice now that uh, Suas happens to have more money, by the way, that Lyra is still wearing those human Earth clothes, and that we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to fix that today. We're gonna have to fix that really soon. All right. How long does it take to design a trait chip? Actually, do I have her? Oh, I have her designing new ones. There, I totally forgot. Uh, let's see. Has discovered all the trait chip schematics that can be designed at her current bot building skill. Okay, so we can't make any more trait chips. So what we could do then is create a trait chip and let's see what we would need. So if we wanna do the steel chef, ooh, they have whole little like explanations of what they do. Turn your resident plum pot into a world-class chef prepared to cook any meal you can imagine and a few you can't. Cooking skill raised to maximum. All cooking recipes are immediately learned. Plum bot takes the initiative. Hang on. To cook for other sims when they are hungry. Oh, that sounds perfect. What kind of nanite do we need? A light nanite for that. Fear of humans. And still a healthy fear of humans in your plum bot. Condition, its nature, so, uh, condition it for nature as you might an endangered llama. Bot flees the sight of human sims. May cause terrified leaking. Bots will not fear pets or sims that are not standard humans. That's interesting. I wonder why Suas would want to do that. The handy bot. Save your wrist the strain of a wrench. This chip lets your house robot repair any machine. Handiness skill is raised to maximum, enables all home maintenance interactions. Plumbot takes the initiative to repair appliances on its own. Hmm, and the AI angler. Smart fish might evade human lures, but a Plumbot's electro scanners leave them nowhere to hide. The fishing skill is raised to maximum and all fishing related activities are enabled. That's interesting. Component cleaner. Turn a plumb bot into a cleaning machine and never touch a mop again. Any mess dissolves under an unrelenting barrage of tidying action. Plumb bots prioritize domestic functions. Handiness count, uh, handles countless tasks from cleaning to laundry. Nice. All right. Well, we want the still chef, I think, as one of the next ones and the handy bot. So we want to make any nanite and a light nanite. So 
I'm gonna make some more nanites, create nanite, and we'll do the light nanite, maybe two light nanites. There you go, Sua. She's gonna be kept busy with that. And where's Lyra going? Lyra's off to do her homework. <laughs> Lyra, it's okay. You can come up and you can. Uh, she wants to enjoy some of her solitude, but I want her to look for Earth pretty much every day. All right, up you go, Lyra. That's better. Besides, last time she ended up finding a meteor, and that was really cool. Maybe she's a little bit freaked out about what her mom's doing out in this, like, mad scientist balcony laboratory. Oh, and now it's, like, daytime, so it's not like we can really search much for the stars anymore. I think Lyra definitely wants to start, like, moving and grooving and getting out there a little bit more, though. Improve logic skill, pet a wild horse, go to the summer festival. Suas has created the light nanite. I feel like she might brag, especially now that the sun's up, so we'll ask about day as a way to have Sua sort of brag about the uh, the plumba that she's going to be building to take care of Lyra. All right, come on over. We could also tutor. Hmm, special, good, ask about day, dog person, enthused about dogs. Not really what I want to do. Ask to take out the trash. Oh my gosh, encourage her to improve skills. All right, um... Yeah, let's let's encourage her to improve her skills, and it'll be Suas's way of trying to tell Lyra that soon, soon they are going to end up. What's Suas? What's she doing? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> so that was uh, Suas's way of telling Lyra that soon she'll be able to study and she won't have to worry about anything while Suas is gone, because she can work on all of her skills while she's uh, being watched over by the Plumbot. And meanwhile, Lyra is interpreting building her skills as remembering all of the gardens that she used to take care of on Earth. So she snuck out to her little secret garden. Oh, that's so cute. That's so funny because I know that this is de definitely the opposite of what uh, Suas would have meant when she told Lyra to work on her skills. <laughs> all right. Suas is really pushing herself. She's created a light nanite. Oh, and her bot building is now level four. She's become quite adept at bot building and receive more Simelonians for performing tune-ups on non-household plum bots. What? You can do a tune-up? When Suez performs a tune-up on a plum bot, there's a chance that she might be able to improve the bot's quality. Interesting. Wow, there's a lot more to the plum bot building than I was going to give him credit for. All right, let's build a couple of the trait chips. Suez, I think, would be the type to really like push herself super hard and not care that she's starting to feel a little bit poorly. And plus, at this rate, we might have all of the trait chips that we're gonna need for a new plum bot pretty soon. And meanwhile, Lyra, if she wants to build her skills, what else does she wanna do? She wants to win a game against Suas. She wants to go to the summer festival. And I think between that and wanting to pet a wild horse, we may have her go out today. We may have her go and try to like figure out what's happening out in the world. Where is the summer festival? That would be kind of fun because she went to all the festivals when she was a kid and she's probably noticed, aha, uh -huh, right over there, not very far. So it's the memories of summer festival. Yeah, I could definitely see her sneaking off to that and not really thinking much about it. But then Suas coming downstairs with the finished plum bot and being quite a rate. All right, let's see, can I weed that? There we go. Yay! All right! Suas is really working away up here. What's this? Buy a costume chest. That is, that's, that's new, Suas. That's new. And she's starting to feel pretty uncomfortable because she's been working so hard. But I think she'd really push herself right to the edge. Oh, we're out of, we're out of these blank processors. I don't know how to make blank processors. Um, how do you make blank processors, actually? That's a good question. Let's see. Multi-tab, trait chip. I think you just have to, like design let's see maybe design some nanites and you get some blank processors i actually don't know how i got those <laughs> i'm suddenly very perplexed i've totally forgotten uh create nanites mm, let's see let's try designing some nanites and see what happens maybe that'll give us the blank processors i've totally forgotten how we managed to get those i think it was trying to design things all right and lyra you want to go to the festival and you're having and you're kind of hungry so I think she'd want to head out to the festival to go get some food, but first she's going to work on her secret garden because she thinks that it's very important. Yeah, I think that's what she'd do. She woke up this morning, maybe forgot to go check and look out at the, the Earth planet. Oh, a Tribble Nanite. What? Oh my gosh, do they like breed like Tribbles? That would be kind of hilarious. Did you get some blank processors to us? Huh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I've totally forgotten how we get blank processors. But let's come over 
Oh, oh, and the toilet's clogged, but Suas actually has special alien powers. So we can recombobulate the broken device. And I think that the toilet being clogged <laughs> would only reinforce Suas's insistence uh, that she very much wants a plumbot who can do all of these things. Having to use her elite alien brain powers in order to manually unclog a toilet is not exactly um and she, like upgrade to self-cleaning and unbreakable not exactly how she wants to have to spend her days so i think that would make her a little annoyed all right lyra is downstairs meanwhile working on her homework and so far i haven't had her homework skill her homework go grade go up so i'm gonna have to check in on that i might have to manually upgrade that because she is homeschooled so maybe that's why it's not and we'll grab some egg rolls from last night well actually no lyra wants to go and eat at the uh the festival but her mom is kind of upstairs like occupying herself in the bathroom so i wonder let's go ahead lyra's gonna change her outfit to her every day and i think that lyra is gonna go ahead and just go to the festival and I mean, her mom is distracted and she's just trying to make the most of things. And, you know, she's kind of hungry and Sua seems a little bit busy. So maybe now is a good time. Also, is this like a little bathroom? What is this? It's like a little party house. Huh. Is it a little bathroom place? Oh, it is a little bathroom. Wonderful. It's got some balloons outside of it for who knows what reason. But we'll just we'll just send her out. She's going to go out and she's going to try to go enjoy the festival. Get some food from over there. Ugh, the lag. I am so sorry. I was warned that Lunar Lakes is extremely laggy, even on the best computers. So we, I knew, I kind of knew it was coming, but still. All right. And meanwhile, let's see. Cool down. And I think that... Ooh, look out the window. Ooh, I wonder if Suas just noticed that Lyra, Lyra has like disappeared. And she's like, wait a second. Where is Lyra gone? Oh my gosh, she gets fun from looking out the window. I didn't know that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how Suas would react to this. And she'll go downstairs expecting to find her daughter. And guess what? Her daughter's like running for it. She's gone. <laughs> In fact, she's running down the street now off to the summer festival after being told about it by a passing a passing gentleman petri stewart and suas meanwhile who's a total introvert except when she gets to go to space is over here going just where is that child what 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 is this spending some time working on her plum bots and like she comes downstairs and lyra's not doing her piles of math problems as she thought also lyra i'm gonna have to really work on her schooling because she has been submitting plenty of assignments so i don't know what's going on there and we'll we'll make sure she doesn't fail her classes all right what do you mean you can't go inside child it's a public restroom everyone should be allowed oh it's the males <laughs> is there a woman's public restroom over here i suppose even aliens are picky about those things sure enough there is well all right we're gonna go ahead and let lyra use the restroom and then uh, she snuck away from her mother and she's gonna sneak right in to the summer festival in the biodome so she's gonna have her very first festival on an alien planet we'll have to see how it compares to the summer festivals back on earth and we'll have to see if it triggers some memories makes her feel lonely or um if she just ends up wanting to to kind of go home and focus on things back at home oh she wants <gasps> get attention from mom oh my gosh i think that maybe she's feeling a little freaked out going out for the first time and she wants to light some fireworks but for the most part guys it looks like uh she does want to improve her logic skill which i'm going to interpret as wanting to figure out how to get herself out of this mess but she really is starting to develop a, a desire possibly because this is all big and scary and new and different to stick by her mom's side and learn from lyra or learn from suas how to uh, handle life here at Lunar Lakes. So we'll have to see what happens when Suas starts disappearing. And we have a plum bot who might be a little bit easier, depending on what kind of traits we end up giving it, for, uh, for Lyra to be able to bond with and Lyra to be able to bend to her cause. We'll have to see what happens once we add that plum bot into our family household. But all right, sorry if I seem a little bit out of it, guys. I have a very bad cold, but I really wanted to come and see how this family was doing. And it looks like we've got a lot that we can work with with plum bots. I was not prepared for that. So this is going to be exciting. Ha, look at this. 
<laughs> that is so funny. Sue S wants to uh, equip a plumbot with the steel chef trait chip. Uh, I think she likes having the food replicator, but I don't know if she's that impressed by the quality of the food. So I don't think we can can we program we can program some new recipes, but uh, improve meal quality. We can't improve the meal quality until we have a higher level technology. So that would explain why she wants a steel chef plumbot. So that's going to be really fun. All right, we're going to work on plumbots. We're going to just kind of keep an eye on where Lyra's wants go to help us determine whether or not she's kind of rebellious or whether she's starting to want to listen to Suas instead. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>